This is the back of the paper. So for each experiment below, specify the independent variable, the dependent variable, and the control group and any constants. Let's go over what is an independent variable. In every experiment, you ask the question and gather information. And then you write your hypothesis. Your hypothesis will define what you're testing and what you expect to happen. Your independent variable is what you're testing and your dependent variable is what you expect to happen. Your control group is used to serve as a comparison. It's your baseline. It's what you know about the experiment. And your constants will be any part of the experiment that can change the outcome of the experiment. Question number one. A student wanted to test how the mass of a paper airplane affected the distance it would fly. Paper clips were added before each flight. As each paper clip was added, the plane was tested to determine how far it would fly. So, what is the independent variable? What are they testing? What are they actually trying to figure out? And then, what is their dependent variable? What do they expect the outcome to be? Or what do they wish their results to be? So what is the student doing? What is he testing? The mass of the paper airplane. How it affects the distance. So our independent variable is what we're testing. We're testing the mass. The mass of the paper airplane is the independent variable. So what is going to respond to the mass? How will this airplane be affected? The dependent variable is the data you're going to collect. The dependent variable will be your observation. So what are we observing? We're observing the distance the plane flew. Now, you should be trying to do these before you watch the video, and then you check your answers. What's the control? The control is going to be your baseline. Does mass affect the paper airplane's distance? So what could your comparison be? What do you need to do? You need to have something that has no change at all, something you can use as your baseline. So you're going to have to really conduct the control without any mass. So it's going to be the plane without any mass. So the plane without any paper clips will be your control because this is what you're testing if the mass affects it without mass. Your constants. You want to have the same shape plane. We want to be the same person that's going to fly the plane. We're going to have the same paper. We use the same paper to make the plane. We're going to make sure that there's no wind. So you want to put the, it's going to be in flight in the same place. So probably indoors because outside there's too much, there's too many variables. Same place, same paper, etc. So your constants must stay the same because you're only changing one variable. Okay. If you need to write this down, pause. If you need to watch it again, watch it again. Let's look at the second question. Two groups of students were testing, um, well, they wanted to test to compare their speed as they work in their math problems. Each group was given the same problems. One group used calculators, while the other group computed without calculators. What are we testing? They wanted to compare their speed while working math problems. So what did they infer? Make an inference. What do you think is going to happen? Can using a calculator help me work out my math problem quicker? So what's the independent variable? What am I testing? Let's see. They're testing their speed. What am I actually changing in this experiment to see if my speed changed? Well, whether or not I use a calculator. That's my independent variable. To so use a calculator one time and then no calculator the other time. That's what's going to change. How I do the problem with a calculator or not. My dependent variable. That's my data I'm observing. What am I observing? How does a calculator affect my experiment? Well, it's going to change my speed working on these math problems. Can I go faster or slower with a calculator? Speed while completing a math problem. Hmm. What's my control? This is my baseline. This is my comparison. This is the one thing. I'm not going to change so that I can 
have a baseline. So your control has to be the no calculator group because this is what I'm using as a comparison. So we can test to see if the calculator actually makes it go faster. So we need a baseline. Without a calculator, this is how fast I do it. With a calculator, does it make me go faster? So the control is the one we use as a comparison. Is our test actually working? That's our control. Constants, you have to have the same math problem. You have to have the same person doing the problem. Problem. Students of different ages were given the same puzzle to assemble. The puzzle assembly time was measured. Assemble means to put together. So, what do they actually want to find out? Student of different ages. What are we changing in this experiment? We're changing the age. So, does age have anything to do with how fast you can assemble a puzzle? What are we changing here? What are we testing? The different ages of students. What do we want to find out? What's the effect of the different ages? So, the different ages are their cause. This is what we're changing, this is what we're testing. Our dependent variable is what we're observing. What do we want to find out? We want to find out if the puzzle assembly time changed. So the time to assemble a puzzle. What are our constants? You have to use the same puzzle. Probably should use the same gender of people. If you want to use all girls, use all girls. All boys, use all boys. Um, the number of pieces in the puzzle. Where we do the puzzle? If I got a snack or not, because if I'm hungry, I might not be thinking clearly. How much water I drink throughout the day? Everything has to be constant. The only thing I can change is a different age of person. Thank you. I hope this helps clarify some of your questions.